Hello everyone, this is InformalGadget.com and today I'm going to give you guys a little preview of the new updated version of the Hack Store. Now I previously made a video and reviewed the first version of the Hack Store and these great guys from the Hack Store group have actually sent me a, a preview version of what you guys should see on Monday, what is it, the 17th of September. There's going to be a new version. so. Just after this weekend, you're going to be able to download this new version. And it actually comes with some pretty great upgrades from the original version, which will just, you know, smooth things out. It actually gives you some sharing options for your social, Facebook, Twitter, um, some new downloads and updates for applications. And there's just a new server design. So the way you do it is just go to their website on Monday and go ahead and just open the DMG file. Once you open it, it's going to make you agree to their terms. I recommend reading it, just understanding what, what you're downloading and what are the rules and regulations. Once you do that, you could go ahead and hit agree. Now, it's going to open this up right here. All you have to do is just drag it over into your applications folder like any other application. And if you actually have the older version of Hack Store, it's going to ask you to replace it. So go ahead and replace it if you do have the older version. If you don't, it's just going to download it right to your Applications folder. So I'm going to hit Replace because I want the newer one. So once you've dragged the Hack Store into your Applications folder, you could go into your Launchpad and open it up from there. There's the new icon here. Or if it's your first time opening up the Hack Store, I would recommend opening it through your Applications folder. Once you find it, if you try to open it regularly, it's going to tell you that you can't open it if you're running on the new version of um, Max OS. So if, if it doesn't allow you to open it, all you have to do is just on your keyboard, hold down control and then click and you'll be able to just click on open and it's going to allow you to open. It's going to tell you sure you want to download it. If you want more information on how this works, you could go ahead and just click on the video right here on the bottom right hand side and it'll talk more about the security feature that the new Macintoshes have. But anyways, once once you've done that, just go ahead and hit open. And it's going to open up the hack store here, so we'll make it larger. And you, you could already tell that it's it's been updated. It looks a lot cleaner and we could actually see that there's a lot more applications that we could download from. Um, so this is the home page right here. And you could see that around on the right hand side here, you have your top charts, your categories, popular, the newest applications that have been downloaded. And it, it does look a lot fresher, it looks nicer. Um, so if we go here, we could go to the featured, the featured apps. So here are your featured apps. And as you can see, there's a long list here. In the first version, there was there was some apps, but it doesn't. It did not look like this. You even have known applications like Skype, uh, Google Chrome, Firefox, and then you have others like your uh, Tiny Umbrella to save your SH SHs from your iPhone, Red Snow to Jailbreak, Pawnage Tool. You know you got uh, iExplorer. So so you do have a lot of good quality applications here you even have the iTunes uh, application here from Apple so you do have a lot of different applications to choose from and a lot of these applications are applications that you wouldn't necessarily see in the Apple Store because in the App Store from Apple there they go through this big process and a lot of the applications aren't accepted because of whatever stringent rules that Apple has. So this is a good place to to see applications that you otherwise wouldn't even ever know that existed and they're great because you could actually click on any of these apps and get more information just as if you were in the App Store. So I clicked on this Nambu app. So it's a social application. So if you see here on the right hand side it says information, category, social, when it was updated, the developer license and your system requirements right here on the right hand side. Now you will need a username and password. It's really easy to register. At the end of this video, I'll put a, a link to my older review of the first hack store. And it's the same process. You just go down here to register, register your, your username and password, and in no time you'll be downloading applications onto your Macintosh. So let's see here, we'll go to the categories just so you guys can check out categories. It'll go down to business, education, entertainment, social. So you could search by category and then there's this about which will give you a user's manual here your terms of use and you also have a Twitter 
and Facebook button here so you could you could actually use Twitter and Facebook to share whatever applications you want to share there's also a cool feature here where if you click on this button here on the left hand side with the little lines it'll search through your Macintosh to see if there's any updates to any of your apps so let's see what pops up here with me now I didn't find any updates so all my applications that I have are actually up to date from what the hack store could see and that's that that's a pretty cool feature right there by just clicking on that button now here's the uh, back and forward button so if you want to go back you could just go ahead and click here so now I've noticed that it's easier to navigate through the hack store it's you could tell it's a lot smoother and it's a lot nicer and that's what these great updates are for and the hack store has actually come a long way in the short amount of time that it's been out and uh, the, the guys over there at the hack store are doing a great job to help help us out and uh, help us find applications that we otherwise wouldn't ever even know existed I'd recommend downloading it, it comes out on Monday go ahead and check out that video right here, right here on the bottom right hand side it'll show you my first review of it you could actually compare and contrast how far these guys have come along to upgrading this this amazing app store tell us what you think about this great new update for the hack store don't forget to follow them on twitter at hack store team follow me informal gadget at informal gadget and don't forget to visit informalgadget.com